Hello everyone. So, we're busy with knife in a box and the handle. And uh, we're almost done with this knife. So I'm quickly going to show you guys how to wrap this cord on this handle. So, uh, if you take this cord and just measure the half. So, make sure two points meet each other. Just get the half of that. And now you have a loop, precisely the middle, and I'm going to loop it over the knife like this. I'll do it at the other side, if you guys can see, like that. So, just halfway around, and then remember, the top part of this knot is going to stay at the top at all times. I'm going, now going to show you what I mean. And the bottom part, that's here, it's going to stay at the bottom. And if you flip it over and you start this way, the top part is going to stay at the top and the bottom is going to stay at, at the bottom. So I'm going to loop it over like that. So it just makes a knot like there. And then I'm going to try and make this pattern as tight as possible. Meaning I'm going to try and make sure the paracord is as close as possible to the previous uh, knot that I made for this pattern. So just to make sure that there's as little gap as possible so with both like that I'm going to take them across so the top is going to come at the back I'm going to make sure I'm tight there it's going to come at the back and the bottom one is going to go over then at the middle of this knife it's going to cross over and I'm going to take it up again so the part that was at the top at the beginning is now also again at the top and the part that was on at the bottom at the beginning is also now at the bottom and now all I'm going to do is take the paracord over and under and now just make the same knot at the sa other side so just going to twist it that the top is back at the top and the bottom is back at the bottom and now I'm just going to press this knot as tightly as I can forward so I have as tight knot as possible and remember keep tension on this do not let it slip so I'm going to show you again so top is at top and bottom is at bottom going to cross over and make a cross and then take the top back to the top and the bottom back to the bottom cross over and make a cross and then take the top back to the top and the bottom back to the bottom. Now I'm just going to press it back there. And I'm going to take the top over and the bottom under to the other side. And now I'm just going to twist it again. And press my knot as far forward as possible. Make sure everything is tight as possible. Make sure these knots are as closely in line as possible. If you have messed up, just untie it to where you have messed up. See, I just want this knot to be a little bit more down and all I'm going to do is press it back again and then I can go back. So if you make a mistake, it's not the end of the world, you can go back and now I'm happy with this knot being in line and I'm going to take it back again and all I'm going to do now is when I'm here, the other side, make sure this side is precisely in line these knots are in line and twist it go back top so now you can already see the pattern that's forming and this is going to give give us some meat at the sides of the knife because it's uh, this paracord you can unwrap it and use it at a later stage but I would rather not do that <laughs> unless it's really necessary you can also swap out the paracord Use another color and see the bottom's there. Going to twist it, bottom stays at bottom, and going to put it in line. Going to push this forward. See, so try to fill up all those gaps, and it does make a small gap, but that's okay. And then twist that back, push it forward. Okay, and just at the other side, the same thing. So it's pretty easy. If you do it a couple of times and start learning, just remember this is as tight as possible. 
don't leave any slack make sure everything is precisely how you want it to be then you take the and just twist it there we go getting the hang of it now and just making sure everything is in line twisting it again there we go see now you can see the pattern forming from every time we test it you can see the same thing happening and the similarities so just okay i got a little bit of a close up it's close up for you guys i'm just going to wrap it at the other side now i'm going to end it so make sure you have a little bit of space between the back of this um, tank and the handle and uh, this knot that you are going to make to tie off and end your entire paracord wrap make sure everything is tight and you're happy with your knots and then all you're going to do going to make a normal knot you're going to cross over and take the longest piece go under and knot that make sure everything is tight and then wiggle 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 until you tight as not as tight as you can and then you're going to repeat this by twisting it over putting it under and there we go putting it under and tying that knot and then if you need leverage you can grab a tong or a plier and pull to get as tight knot as you can so i'm going to grab under I'm going to grab top and just pull with both these pliers as tight as possible squeeze that make sure when you make this this knot you can't take the knot and go over this part because then your knot is going to become loose so make sure you can't pull this knot this way it goes over so i'm just going to take that bottom take the top and pull it as hard as i can there we go and to show you how to cut this off and end this now next okay so i'm just going to cut off the excess and to leave about a half centimeter of the excess paracord on both sides let me just cut it off here Use sharp scissors, not dull scissors like me. There we go. See if you have made your knife now, you can easily uh, also cut things, not use dull scissors like me. Almost there. There we go. Now I'm just going to take a light there and use pliers. Just to get my fingers away, do not want to burn, and then there we go. Just burn off there. Do not burn too much, just slowly. Then I'm going to use the pliers just to squish that a little bit. Make sure all the loose pieces are all there as you guys can see there's the loose pieces that are fluttering and that's a nice stump so just going to do the same at the other one just until it makes like a bubble blow out if it makes a fire you do not want the fire just squish it you can use your fingers but you are probably going to burn and get sore so do not do that okay then I'm just going to take that, squish it both sides. If you need to, just go back with the light there. And uh, last, I do not want to take this handle off, so I'm going to use a little bit of super glue and uh, just put a few drops on it on my knot to make sure this knot does not come loose again. Not by choice. Yeah, just two drops and all the so just going to put the extra 
one day, an extra one day, in all those crevices, just at the, not, and let it dry now, there you go, I'm going to show you how to sharpen this knife next. Thank you.